Uh, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pudilam, continuing the class series on research methodology, 21 RMI 56, which is the uh, compulsory subject for all the fifth semester engineering students of uh, Visheshara Technology University. Uh, this is module 2 uh, and uh, part 6, the video, video class number 6. I am covering uh, the question uh, indicating the revised Bloom's taxonomy level and the answer key also I am giving. Textbook uh, is already available. I can see that syllabus which I am covering now. The last portion, the last video of this particular uh, class, uh, module. So these are the course outcome in which uh, I am covering this CO2 now. Okay, the available uh, uh, study material is given here. The link is given or I can uh, directly download it from uh, internet by typing this name uh, engineering research methodology by Dipankar Dev you will get the pdf uh, to download that is the study material from that only I took uh, I am taking the points and explaining here okay today I am covering the last topic that is today means for this video acknowledgement and attributions what should be acknowledged uh, acknowledgement in books and dissertation uh, dedication as well as acknowledgement because it is not question dedication and acknowledgement I will type okay so this is the uh, syllabus I am covering now okay so question is framed how does the in inclusion of acknowledgement sections in engineering uh, research publications recognizing diverse contributions ranging from moral and financial support to technical and conceptual assistance contribute to the integrity collaboration and professional impact evaluation within the academic community okay so it covers the topic uh, which is mentioned uh, that is acknowledgement and attribution what should be acknowledged acknowledgement in books dissertation dedication and acknowledgement so you'll get an idea of the question as well as i'm covering the syllabus also okay so acknowledgements uh, and attributions when we say about uh, uh, this topic uh, as an introduction part um, acknowledgement section it, uh, it it actually expresses the gratitude uh, for uh, the contribution to the work by any any anyone who help us or who uh, motivate us or uh, who financially support us or provide some instrumental support some instrument uh, to ex do the experiment or some uh, software uh, they develop and give to execute our work or in any other way if they uh, support uh, was actually was not there but when we started the work or such work in between we found their help we uh, requested their help they helped us so we need to acknowledge okay so expressing the gratitude of their help to our work okay so that acknowledgement can be placed at the end of the text the research paper and toward the end after the conclusion part we can say acknowledgement part we can keep for attribution part it is uh, it is kept as end of text as a, as a normal text or as a footnote or whatever as per the guidelines of the journal if they will provide a uh, provision to acknowledge if you want to uh, it recognize the individuals or the organization or any funding body or any, any financial assistance given by any agency either um, state uh, government agency or central government agency or any other NGO if they provided some funding that can that need to be acknowledged categories of acknowledgement is given here it is it, it may be the moral support given or financial support given or the editing support editorial support given or the institution support uh, giving the facility to do carry out the research or the technical support given by someone or the conceptual support when we are not sure about the concept uh, which is connecting to our research work if they, somebody assisted us in uh, conceptualizing that one that uh, uh, can also be uh, acknowledged okay so i think uh, i forgot to change the slide okay so uh, the acknowledgement in engineering research um, yeah, it uh, uh, it extends to uh, the um, uh, people who helped uh, like technicians uh, the students who helped uh, or funding agencies and collaborative uh, co uh, contributors who are all collaboratively in that work uh, need to be acknowledged now uh, what should be acknowledged the element which uh, we can acknowledge or uh, it may be a quotation some quotation we we use uh, to our uh, or which is the motivation to do our work our research work it can be that need to be acknowledged or it may be any ideas or any fact or any paraphrasing 
any funding or any oral discussion uh, discussion happened with an expert so we'll have to uh, acknowledge that uh, uh, discussion which helped us to uh, conclude our research work that need to be acknowledged but it may be in a laboratory okay so our laboratory sufficient uh, 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 instruments or sufficient support uh, requirement if it is not there some other laboratory will help us uh, to carry out our work so we need to acknowledge that laboratory it may be a computer work because some people are may not be familiar to the computer how to operate it or all those related things how to connect it to the different different uh, equipments so such a computer work or support also can be acknowledged okay so some of the examples which i took from the textbook i am explaining here so who to acknowledge uh, the person who is offering that scientific or technical guidance need to be acknowledged or uh, the person who is assisting uh, by discussion uh, uh, or uh, to explain our work in detail uh, somebody if they help us uh, that need to be acknowledged or someone who shares the information need to be acknowledged or the grants received uh, from any funding agency need to be acknowledged with the full details because they have provided the fund for us to, to carry out the research work to contribute to the society okay so what should be acknowledged acknowledging presentation elsewhere uh, that is the citation or the abstract or presentation at the scientific meeting or any symposium happened that need to be acknowledged okay so the importance of acknowledgement why it is so important why you have to acknowledge what will happen if you won't acknowledge okay so it demonstrate our integrity so no question why what will happen we don't have integrity if you are not acknowledging others help in our uh, work so we need to we need to show our integrity or we need to demonstrate our integrity by acknowledging the others uh, help towards our work it, it it encourages the collaboration and they play a pivotal role in a professional impact evaluation no acknowledgement in books and dissertation the acknowledgement uh, the mainly whom we acknowledge it includes um, uh, the supervisor, the peers, uh, academic staff, technical support, colleagues, the family and friends. We can acknowledge in uh, books as well as dissertations. When we publish our book or when we uh, um, finally submit the thesis, our PhD thesis or any other research uh, thesis, PhD or PDF, postdoctor fellow thesis, if you submit, we have to mention all the people who helped in between uh, con continuing that work okay they may, might have spent their time they might have uh, taken some of our um, uh, duty timers to get us time to do the research so many things will come in between that everything we have to note down and we need to um, acknowledge that in in, uh, in the thesis or sellers or any other books that we publish okay that dedication and acknowledgement the dedication uh, of whom, whom we dedicate our work uh, that is the main thing it is rarely used in journal paper we never uh, mention not we not seen much in journal papers that uh, people will dedicate their work research work or they will they not seen in uh, conference proceedings also where the people say that their work is get, ded get dedicated but mainly in books and theses or dissertation uh, this dedication is seen because there is a little bit lengthy work compared to the journal uh, paper work so there that work to do that work the people who supported or their mental support or somebody whose inspiration made us to do or um, somebody's uh, say like parents uh, parents always we should need to dedicate our work because they took that much effort uh, to bring us um, in to, to to a certain level from which we started growing our uh, building our own uh, okay so the dedication versus acknowledgement when we say uh, the dedication it is for uh, expressing a person's a personal dedication to someone who, who contributed a lot to our uh, our growth throughout the life or uh, that acknowledgement it is in that particular time period of that work who help we, we need to acknowledge but dedication is something whom, to whom who dedicated their life for something for us so we are dedicating some of our our uh, contribution uh, to to the society we are dedicating to them 
because you want to mention that they are because of them we are here okay so acknowledgement recognizes whereas the acknowledgement recognize the contribution from various individuals that's about dedication and use okay this is which was a very small video okay so module 2 part 6 thank you for uh, watching my videos uh, as well as uh, subscribing to my videos so please do subscribe uh, people are not subscribing you just watching and uh, going please do subscribe to this support i request you to subscribe uh, uh, to my youtube channel my intuition 4865 so very good name no? my intuition so you can sub subscribe to that so once again i thank you uh, and have a very nice day